Japanese barberry is an invasive shrub found in many habitats throughout Rhode Island. As an aggressive competitor that tolerates shady conditions, it has many negative impacts on local ecosystems. The objective here is to provide landowners with control methods that include manual, chemical, or a combination of both treatments. But first, it is essential to identify the plant as it takes on different appearances throughout the year. Japanese barberry is one of the first plants to leaf out in the spring. A tiny, delicate yellow flower will bloom in May. This is a thorny bush, and there's a small thorn at the base of each leaf. In the fall, the leaves turn crimson or purple in color. In winter, only the fruits in the form of red berries remain. The berries are occasionally eaten by small mammals or birds as a last resort, since they're low in nutritional value. When eradicating invasive species manually, there are several precautionary measures to consider. Small plants, up to two feet in height, can be hand pulled. Always get as much of the root system out as possible. Minimize soil disturbance to prevent new seedlings from germinating and cover the soil with leaf litter. And finally, avoid letting plants come in contact with soil to prevent stems from rerooting. Larger plants will require cutting tools to avoid disturbing the soil. For larger properties, it may be advisable to hire a commercial contractor using heavy equipment. This can be done most effectively in the fall or winter. Herbicides are often the most effective way to manage invasive plants. However, the use of chemicals should be done with caution. Always follow product directions and local regulations regarding where, when, and which herbicides can be applied. When in doubt, contact an expert. Before using chemicals, there are many factors to consider, including weather conditions, wet areas, and sensitive organisms. Here are two herbicides commonly used for Japanese barberry. These products are locally available under a variety of different brand names. Several control methods are available using herbicides. The cut stem method involves both manual and chemical treatment. To accomplish this, the plant is first cut at the base. Herbicide is then applied to the freshly cut surface. Do not overspray. The basil bark method simply implies spraying an oil-based herbicide on the root collar of the plant. Rather than cutting, the plant is left to die in place. The foliar method can only be implemented during the growing season, when leaves are actively photosynthesizing. The goal is to achieve an evenly wet, but not dripping application of herbicide on the leaves. There is no need to spray the bark. Spraying equipment ranges from hand pumps for minimal treatment to backpack sprayers for larger infestations. With a little research and practice, most landowners can effectively control Japanese barberry on their own. Hopefully, this short video has provided some useful information on how the most appropriate control methods can be applied. For further inquiries about this video, please contact the Rhode Island Natural History Survey.